Cameron Tech Support Supervisor with Fuel Tech uh, here today with Paul Gibbs. And um, pretty cool day on the dyno today, right? Yeah, right. So it's not very often that we have something that's mechanically injected on the dyno, but this one is. Uh, we can control that stuff with our Fuel Tech products. Uh, it, it just opens up a huge window for a lot of people to control and data log different things on, on that type of a combination, um, proving that you truly don't need uh, to have EFI on your car to run Fuel Tech stuff. Uh, so you brought the car here, right? So yep. that way you could uh, figure out a, a shifting issue. Yeah. Uh, you got a Liberty transmission, and it wasn't going into gear and coming out of gear and stuff like that. Right. Uh, we ended up fixing that with one of our switch panels, um, and that kind of fixed uh, what we believe to be like a faulty mechanical switch, right? Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just went on throughout our day to make some horsepower and 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 that kind of stuff. So if if you want, uh, could you give us a rundown on how your day was today? Well, uh, started off great. We got here a little bit late. We uh, had a, a little brake issue with our tractor and trailer, but uh, once we got here, we were treated with the, the best of hospitality. Uh, everybody was willing to uh, inform me and my crew chief, you know, what we, uh, you know, how we're, how to fun everything functions with full fuel tech because we were not only coming here to get the car fixed and to check out the rear wheel horsepower on the car, we came to get schooled also. And uh, Cameron here and uh, the other guys has been really well uh, with the learning us, the, the, the learning curve of fuel tech because, hey, it's a high tech system, but if you want to go fast, you'll have fuel tech, fuel tech on the car. That's why I chose fuel tech. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. And I'm glad that you guys had a good time learning how all this stuff works. Um, you said you're headed to Texas yes. for uh, which race? Texas Motorplex. We're going down there for the ADRL. It's uh, under new management now, and uh, it's. Uh, I feel like ADRL was one of the greatest uh, pro mod dressing, drag racing leagues ever, and uh, it changed owners. Everything's changed around, and we think it's there to stay now, so we're going to support them. and. Uh, Probably run some PDRA stuff, and uh, we got a new series in Montgomery, Alabama that's going to be great. Uh, $10,000 to win, no entry fee. Everybody gets in free, so we got a lot of great things. We got a new car on the way. Uh, we're going to be putting fuel tech on it also. Uh, it's a brand new Jeffers uh, Pro Cars, a, a CUDA like this one. It's four inch narrow uh, body, narrow, four inch narrow chassis, and uh, that's going to be my son's car with uh, this roots blown combination with the lockup, and I'm gonna, we're putting a, a screw blower on this car. So uh, ah, it's kind of so like a dream come true. I'm gonna be able to race my son, and yep, you know yep. we're gonna be talking crap and all that. You know yeah, what I mean? Don't beat up on him too bad with that <laughs> screw blower though. Right, yeah, gotcha. So you. you gonna bring it back here and see what it does with the screw blower on it? Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll get the, uh, 
Actually, all this fuel tech will stay on this car, and we're going to have we're going to be putting the fuel tech on the new car. Okay. So, and uh, we just have to, uh, you know, our uh, setup will, I'm sure will be different, right? Little, little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, so. But that kind of just gives you an idea of all the versatility uh, within the fuel tech product line. We can do mechanical injection. We can do something carbureted. We can play with fuel injection stuff, turbos, nitrous, blowers, everything. And we'll see you guys next time. See you later.